Hi everyone, this is Prashad Parthiban. Today I'm going to talk about how generative AI can help in climb segmentation process, especially in PNC insurance. Most of you know about segmentation. This is the second step in the climb's life cycle. Step one is first notice of loss where you take the climb as an input. Step two is you have to segment the climb. When I say segment the climb, like is it a complex climb or simple climb based on the climb attributes? Why we have to segment the climb? This segmentation and you no know, segregating the climbs helps us to do the better assignment. For example, if you have a loss location in California, you do not want to assign that climb to an adjuster who is there in New Jersey. It's very no difficult process for a New Jersey adjuster to review a claim that happened in California. Instead, you wanted to assign it to the California adjuster. How do you do that? You have to segment the climb so that right adjuster gets the right climb. Now, prior to the artificial intelligence, we have to do a lot of things manually where somebody like CSR, customer service representative, they have to look at the climb and then do the segmentation. With artificial intelligence, where we can read structured and unstructured data, including documents, plus we do have the ability to generate content, we can you know, enhance this entire climb segmentation process. Here in this slide, I have included some of the use cases where we can use generative AI in the climb segmentation process. Let's look at it one by one. First use case is categorizing images and documents. As you know, when you create a climb, the InShoot can provide us n number of documents along with pictures. So it's very important you segment those data based on their uh, no, category so that it can be processed without any difficulties. For example, if you have images for a personal auto loss where you have certain images which are kind of no, showing as a high damage versus some images that shows that it includes a damage which is not of critical nature. So it's very important you have to categorize those images that you get from customer plus any documentation so that the processing can be streamlined. Climb severity, it is very important you know, in terms of climb segmentation. Say if you have a climb where you have glass only breakage versus a climb which is total loss, right? the entire car is damaged. It makes huge difference. So the total loss climb has to be handled by an uh, adjuster who has extensive experience versus glass only can be automatically processed and the payment can be sent to the customer. So with AI having the ability to read n number of data from the past as well as current, based on the climb attributes, based on the input given by the customers, system can very well easily determine the severity of the climbs. Identify fraudulent climbs during the segmentation. It is very important you identify the fraudulent claims upfront during the segmentation. That way, there is no possibility of leakage of payments, right? Like example, if you get a claim where a particular customer has been filing it on a weekly basis. So this is one of the reason we can say this can be flagged for fraudulent activity. So if you do it manually, it is going to take you more time. Whereas system can identify it automatically based on the past historical data. Generate segment rules, you know, generative AI, the main intent of generative AI is to generate content, right? So based on your historical data, sometimes generative AI can say, okay, these are the different segments that you can kind of know, categorize your climbs on so that it can avoid any leakage in terms of segmenting rules. Natural language processing, you know, AI can read a specific content in a document. If you have like, 800 pages of document for some reason or 500 pages of document, it is impossible for a human to read an entire document. Whereas if you have a specific terminology or keyword that you wanted to extract from this 800 pages, you can easily do it through NLP, which is AI functionality, so that you can summarize the entire 800 pages into a critical one or two pages document. Multi-line climb, sometimes you commercial lines, you could have a claim where there is a loss for both workers' comp and general liability, two line of business. When you do that, it is very important you assign those claims to a right adjuster because it is not one line of business. So to segment those claims is a very important factor and AI can easily do, do that based on its ability to read the data 
and generate kind of no content generate reports it's very important for every segmentation process we have some kind of reports which helps us to have a which helps us during the audit purpose so because of the generate ui functionality to generate content you can easily do that cost of loss we know when you do things manually when the insurers are reporting data we may not have accurate data because of the manual process because ai can read data from the past as also at the same time it can read like data on the location where the loss happened the loss of cost of loss could be accurately detected based on the ai ability to read the data subrogation opportunities right when you get a claim it is very important to understand who was responsible for the accident right if you upfront determine that this particular claim could have subrogation opportunity when i say subrogation it's not the insurer's responsibility for this claim it's somebody else the insurance companies can assign it to the correct adjuster based on the segmenting total loss opportunity like if you have an personal auto accident if ai can read the images or whatever the loss location details and it can tell okay this is a total loss that way you no need to spend more admin work you can directly assign or segment this claim so that it gets assigned to the correct adjuster natural disaster is a very important factor nowadays we have flood wind storm etc using the data ai can easily say this can be a claim related to natural disaster so that it can be segmented and assigned to the correct people so that the payments can be made on timely vendor involvement so it's very important whenever there is a claim for an insurance company to tell will this involve multiple vendors like in case of workers comp will that be involving a doctor or in case of personal auto a workshop person right so that you categorize those claims separately or segment those claims separately so that we can assign it to the correct adjuster again there are n number of use cases but the mere fact that generative ai can read n number of data both structured and unstructured plus it can generate content by itself using an algorithms i just wanted to highlight few of them that i am aware of thank you for your continuous support on this training sessions please give me your feedback based on which i will be able to improve my future sessions have a great day bye bye